This video is about how you update a whole bunch of records, not just a few, but all of them or a filter for them. Let, let's pretend we have the following situation. We put our employees in a table, we give them badge numbers, but then we find out that those departments here, they have much more information that comes with them. If that's the case, you should really start a new table, I call it the department table, and that has those departments, shifts, cost centers, and their managers. That all comes with that specific department. So you don't want to repeat that in your employees table. We give each department an auto number. That's the easiest way to do. So that means department idea is an auto number. That automatically means it's a long integer with no duplicates. Then we are going to say to this employees table, we are going to, instead of a department, we are going to give them a department ID. So we go to the design screen and we implement a department ID. The department ID should be a match to the other one. So it has to be a, a number, not an auto number, of course. You don't start numbering all over here. So it's a number, but make sure it's of the long integer types and that duplicates are okay, because there are many people in the same department. So when you save that one, we get an empty field here. So we put a department idea in there, but how do we fill it now with the correct department numbers instead of the field department? Before you are going to do this, I would make a copy of that table. You just click on the table, select it, Control shift c Control shift v And you want structure and data, I keep the name as it is, so in case something goes wrong, I always have an original without any changes. Then we are going to make an update department ID query. It looks as follows. We are going to the design view. Uh, first of all, you have to connect this department field with that department field. Because here we are going to replace accounting, for instance, with that department ID. So what we are going to do is we use an update query. The update query has the following settings. We are going to update the department ID in either the copy table or the real table. So now we need to make sure that it updates correctly. So it has to update to the department ID from the department's table. So in order to do that, if you don't know how to type that, you right click there and build. And in build, you can say, where is your table? YouTube update query. And then we go to the tables. And we go to the departments table. And we want that department ID. So when you double click on this one, it will put that address in here. I'm going to show you. And that is the correct one. So now we can make this an update query. How had you done that? By making sure that before you did all of this that you had clicked on update. That makes it an update query and that implements this third row here. So now the only thing is this is not a regular query. So when I close it and save all the changes, then I have to make sure that I really run it. So when I open it, you are about to run an update query that will modify your table. Yes. You are about to update 18 rows. Correct. And we are going to look in the copy. And there you will see that Avery is in department 4, which is marketing. And Buca is also in marketing, so he is in department ID 4. So now I can delete the departments field here, and we will get a perfect replica. We are going to do one more, a, m a more complicated one. Let's say when you designed this table, you made a big mistake. You put the full name in there, Avery, comma, and then the first initial, or maybe a second initial also. That's up to you. It's probably better to make that 
two separate fields, last name and first name. So we are going to do that in the employees table. So we are going to create two new fields. I'm going to do it in the copy table as we did before. We create two new fields, last name and first name. Okay. Of course, that is all empty at this point. So we are going to fill them with an update query. I close the table and we make an update full name query. Again, make sure that you make it an update query. We use this information and we are going to put in last name in that field. We are going to put the following formula. We do that in the copy table or in the other table, whatever you have used. And here you are going to use an update to a left function and an in string function. You can do that again with build, because build has also nice functions. The built in functions, and there you will find left, etc. So left has two arguments. It has the, the left of which field, full name, comma, how much. Use the in string function that is going to find in full name the position of the comma. And you don't want anything including the comma, so minus one. And that will do the job. We do the same for the second one. That is going to be the first name. Again, we use a simple function, in this case the right function, based on the full name, two characters from the right. Okay. So we are going to run this one. You can do that right from here and click on the run button. You are about to update 18 rows and it's already done, whether you like it or not. So I'm going to look in the copy there. And you will see that Avery G is here, Babcock C is there, etc. So now you can take out the full name and everything will work properly. There is one more thing you need to do now. You have to connect the two tables differently. So you go to Database Tools, Relationships, and you make sure that you're, in, in my case, that the copy of employees is available too. So I go to copy of employees. I, I'm not using this one in this case, but maybe you want in your situation to use that one. And all we have to do now is we don't want to connect department with department anymore. For this department, you probably have taken out. But now we have to connect the department ID with that department ID. This is the primary key. That is not the primary key, but the foreign key. So we click and hold on the primary key and drag it to that ID. And because they are both of the same type, long integer, you can do all of this. Make sure that you enforce referential integrity that prevents wrong numbers that don't exist, etc., and create a relationship. So from now on, I can find the departments of all those people. Let's just show you very quickly how to do that. I'm going to save the relationships. I make a new query. Okay. And we go for a query design. Based on the copy of employees table and the departments table, it inherits automatically the relationship. And we are going to say, give me, I'm going to use the full name again. Give me the full name of those people, plus their departments, their shifts, their cost center, and their managers. So now when I'm going to look through that query, you will see that all your employees are in the correct departments. And they have either the same manager if they are in the same departments, they have cost centers, etc.